Fishing, Fishing, Malware, Trojans, Tactics and Data Breaches Hey friends, welcome to the channel, your friend Ali here. You are watching 8th episode of Cyber Talks with Ali. Let's get started. Microsoft creates tool to scan macro tick routers for trick bot infections. Microsoft released a scanner that detects macro trick routers hacked by a trick bot gang to act as a proxies for command and control servers. Trickbot is a malware botnet distributed via phishing emails or dropped by other malware that, uh, that is already infected devices. Once executed, Trickbot will connect to a remote command and control server to receive commands and download further payloads to run the infected machine. For years, Trickbot has used IoT devices such as routers to act as proxy between an infected device and command and control servers. These proxies are used to prevent researchers and law enforcement firms to find and disrupting their command and control infrastructures. Famous NPM package deletes files to protest Ukrainian war. This month, the developer behind the popular NPM package Node IPC released a stoppage version of the library in protest of ongoing Russian and Ukrainian war. Newer version of the Node IPC package begins deleting all data and overwriting all files on the developer's machine in addition to creating a new text file with a message of peace. With over a million weekly downloads, Node IPC is a prominent package used by major libraries. Unsecured Microsoft SQL MySQL servers hit by a ghost cringe malware. Hackers targeted poorly secured Microsoft SQL and MySQL database servers to deploy the Ghost Cringe Remote Access Trojan on vulnerable devices. Ghost, Ghost Cringe or Cringe Rat is a variant of Ghost Rat malware, was mostly recently deployed in 2020. Chini cyber operation, but as we check dates for back, it started from 2018. Cyber security firm. A hen lab researcher outlined how the threat actors behind the ghost cringe are targeting poorly secured database servers with a weak account credentials and no oversight. SolarWinds warns attacks targeting web help desk instances. SolarWinds warn customers of attacking targeting internet exposed web help desk instances and advised removing them from publicly accessible infrastructures, likely to be prevent the exploitation of potential security flaw. WSD is an enterprise help desk ticketing and IT inventory management software designed to help customers automate ticketing and IT asset management tasks. A SolarWinds customer reported an externally attempted attack on their instance of web help desk. The customer's endpoint detection and response EDR systems blocked the attack and alerted the customer. Microsoft Defender tags Office updates as a ransomware activity. The Microsoft Defender recently triggered a false alarm that Windows admins were hit a wave of Microsoft Defender for endpoint false positive where office updates were tagged as a malicious in alert pointing to a ransomware behavior detected on their systems. According to the Windows system admins, uh, it is lead to a downpour of ransomware alerts. Hundreds of GoDaddy hosted sites backdoored in a single day. The most famous and popular web hosting site GoDaddy, internet security analysts have spotted a spike in backdoor infection on WordPress websites hosted on GoDaddy's managed WordPress service, all featuring an identical backdoor payload. The case affected internet service resellers such as Media Temple, TSO Host, 123Reg, Domain Factory, Heart Internet, and Host Europe managed WordPress. The discovery came from World Friends, whose team first observed the malicious activity on March 11, with a 298 website infected by backdoor within a 24 hours, 281 of which were hosted on the GoDaddy.
most QNAP NAS devices affected by dirty pipe Linux flaw. There was a currently no mitigation for the server Linux kernel bug. QNAP warned the dirty pipe Linux kernel flaw, a high severity vulnerability. In all major distros that grants root access to unprivileged users who have local access, affects most of the QNAP's network attached storage NAS appliances. Dirty Pipe is a recently reported local privilege escalation vulnerability affected the Linux kernel on the QNAP NAS running QTS 5.0 and QTS Hero H5.0. QNAP advised if exploited an unprivileged local user can gain admin privileges and inject malicious code. Researchers have found another destructive viper that targets organizations in the Ukraine. Carry Viper is the one of the barrage of data wiping cyber attacks to hit the country since January as a war on the ground with Russia has begun. Researchers have discovered yet another destructive data wiping malware targeting organizations in Ukraine, the third in a row of the data wiping malware in a weeks attacking systems into a country that currently defending itself against Russia's physical evasion. The team of from cybersecurity firm ESET uncovered the malware which they dubbed as a caddy wiper. The wiper which destroys users data and partition information from the attached drives was spotted on a several dozens of systems in a limited number of organizations. Okay, that's it for the today hope you guys love this video please make sure you subscribe to the channel for more updates see you in the next video till then thanks for watching bye bye